Hi guys, my name's Ellie, welcome to my channel, and today we're doing an unboxing of Dia & Co. So, um, this month both my Dia box and my Wantable box came at the exact same day, and it's the day after Thanksgiving, so we've been doing stuff, I didn't have time to do either of them, so we're doing them both today, which means that, um, depending on which one goes up first, you'll already have a bit of a spoiler, but I'm only going to keep one of them. I don't need two subscription boxes coming, especially if they're for the same thing, if they're both for clothes. And they don't know this, but this is going to be their last impression um, as I decide which one I keep. So, um, slightly skewed towards Dia. I've liked them a little bit more than Wantable, but we'll see. Maybe there's something amazing in the other one. So, let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, this is soft. What are you? It's like a it's like a drapey top. Yeah, like a fit, faux cowl neck top. Oh, this looks comfy. It's really soft. That's good for you. What are you? What? Oh, oh, oh. What's this? <laughs> So this will be the third of this exact cut of sweater I've gotten in various subscription boxes. Uh, this is a different pattern, but we'll set it aside and see if maybe that changes my mind, but I haven't, I didn't keep either of the other two. And then, ooh, this was a good idea. I've been wanting more sweaters. This is a sweater. Nice green sweater. Big, big knit, like that. Oh, they sent a purse again. I don't really want any purses. I'm wondering if maybe that's a thing that I don't know if, like, part of their thing is that they always send you a purse. This is the purse they sent this month. It's purple, which is cute. The, the stackable... Like, these are three separate things. It's got a little crossbody bag. Does it have interior pockets as well? It does have an interior pocket. Do you also have an interior pocket? No. And no. So, technically you have one main pocket with an interior pocket and then two side pockets that are stacked. Cute, but unlikely to keep. And a pair of pants! Yes. Pair of pants. So, I did this with the other one. Um, I've been, my editing's been strange, so I'm going to just go ahead and spoil the pricing for me, but then I can tell you what it is. So, the Loire Crossbody Zipper Bag in Burgundy is $39. The Rachel Off the Shoulder Top in burgundy, really? I'm gonna call it more of a purple, but it looks like this. So, this is not the most flattering cut for me. Like, this widens my shoulders, but it's really cute and it's really soft and it's warm. And god damn it, why did, Nia, why did Dia know that this was the last month showdown when even I didn't know? Oh, this looks really nice. And that costs $75. The Oksana Pleated Back Open Knit Cardigan in Olive Green looks like this. Um, this might have to be one of those boxes where I keep everything because this fits really well. The sleeves are nice and comfy. I've been wanting like an olive cardigan-y sweatery thing. And I like it. I like it a lot. And that costs $59. The drawstring cardigan from Kiona in navy slash red with like the flowers looks like this. I don't know. This is. Why does this look good? This has never looked good before. Changing just the print shouldn't change the way this thing looks on me. But like this plus the jeans looks real good to me. Real good. It cost $64. And then the Leroy Ankle Skinny Jean in a medium wash looks like this. You guys told me that if I gave better 
information, they would give me better fits, and they did, because these jeans, they're like, they fit in all the places I want them to. They're probably a jegging, they probably have some kind of stretch with the material, but like, they're the right length. They fit my thighs, they fit my calves, they rise right about where I want them to. Like, I could do with a little bit more height, but things are going to change as you wear them anyway. But this, these are really nice. These are a likely keep. And cost $65. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to come back with opinions. So, I tried everything on. I, I think I'm keeping everything. This is not something I normally do. Uh, it could be a combination of a couple things of they just got a lot of things right in this box and the fit and the style was just, um, I know this is not something I was excited about. I don't really need more bags, but the, the thing that subscription boxes like this will try to do, and it is pretty effective, is, um, they knock off your styling fee. So you are paying a certain amount per month whether or not you keep anything, so that knocks down the price. And then if you keep all of the items, you save money. They give you a discount on the total price. So I have my little cheat sheet. Um, for all of the items, the total listed price was $302. They take off the styling fee, which is $20, and they do a 25% discount if you keep every single item, which knocks off $75.50 and brings us down to $200. i am not spending $2,000 on clothes today. $206.50, and since the bag is only $39, the discount for keeping the whole box makes it like I'm not paying for that, or it just makes it overall better. So if I, I'm definitely just like trying to make sense of it and like justifying things, but there are four clothing pieces in this that I really, really like. $206, that's 50 and change, 50, 52, 52, 50, something like that, to make it per item. And based on what they are, sweaters, uh, jeans, stuff like that, they're all things that I have on average paid more than $50 per item for. And the price of each of those items is more than that. So like the None of these items are other than this. This is the one that will um, be the only thing that was under $50 in the box. So the other ones were all over $50 anyway. And then with the discount and keeping the bag, it makes sense. I don't know. This is <laughs> um, not what I was expecting to do this month, but uh, Dia brought their A-game and they really nailed it. These are all things that looked really good on me <laughs> and I can wear to work and I am excited to bring into my rotation. Um, and this is not something I'm not excited about. This is a cute bag. Um, pleather I do prefer often just because I'm rough on my bags. So it being real leather would require me to take extra care of it. And since I'm treating this kind of like a throwaway item that just if I keep it, I get the discount. Um, but it is nice. It is seasonally appropriate. I'm not, like, hating the bag. I just would not have purchased this on its own. But as part of a group, I keep it. So, I know that probably sounds ridiculous to a lot of people, and you're like, well, why would you do that? But these are the reasons, and these are the tactics that subscription boxes use, and sometimes they're very effective. Sometimes you have, like, this, where... Keeping them is worth keeping the bag that I don't hate, just not that excited for. No. I was about to say, maybe I can take it to um, concerts, because I have two concerts coming up. I'm like, I already have a concert bag that's, like, very small. But I am excited to wear these. They are season appropriate. The colors and the cut worked really well on my body. And, yeah, that definitely kind of seals it. I was already, why am I so pale? What do you do, lighting? Um, I was already leaning towards keeping Dia. They'd had a better success rate of finding things that, even if they weren't quite my style, still fit well. And I think them 
having that focus on plus size people as opposed to just having some plus size options gives them a better way to fit me. Um, and I'm kind of surprised about the Kiona cardigan. I tried that on assuming that I was going to not like it like the other times. Like, it's just, it feels like an awkward um, cut. And, like, it's the exact same brand. It's the exact same cut. It's the exact same size. It's just something about that pattern. And I guess today, maybe it just sits differently. But I really liked it. So that normally would have been a thing that I would have been like, why are you saying the same thing multiple times if I've sent it back? Apparently Dia had a plan, and that was to get me with flowers, <laughs> and it worked. So, I'll be keeping Dia, I'll be letting Wantable go by the wayside, um, and I'm excited to keep doing this, so thank you guys. This is interesting. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.